On this video we get to know the Casque Line, one of the most beautiful urban railway lines in Europe. The video's focus is mainly on the stunning beauty of the areas which we will cross but there will be, as well, something about the line's history and, of course, the trains themselves. I hope you enjoy it! Hi and welcome to Cais do Soder Station in Lisbon, Portugal. It may not look like it but there's a railway station behind those trees. A simple and elegant facade welcomes us to a stunning albeit small atrium with a stained glass window and an old school clock. The station was built in 1928 and fully modernized in the late 1990s, early 2000s, with new platforms, new commercial area, where we are and interface with the Lisbon Metro. Regarding the trains, these are classes 3100 and 3200, the sole in Portugal that can work under 1500 volt continuous current and the Cascais line being the only one with this type of electrification in the country. The interiors are in a 2 plus 2 configuration and the seats are quite okay for short commutes. The blue train interiors are in tune with the theme of this line, which, as the map shows, runs for most of its 27 km right above the river and the sea. The main purpose of this video is to show you how this proximity to the water made this one of the most beautiful urban railway lines in Europe. The departure from Kais du Soder runs near some port infrastructure and isn't definitely of any major scenic relevance, but much better will come in just a moment. As we pass Alcantara Mar, the scenery definitely improves. While we pass through this nice park with the river behind, please allow me to speak a little about the line's history. Its first portion opened in 1889 followed by two extensions in 1890 and 1895, bringing the line to its current length. Although originally mostly built as a single track, shortly after the inauguration, duplication work started and by 1897 the whole distance from Kais du Soder to Cascais was double track. In 1918 the line was leased to Sociedad Estoril for a term of 50 years, with the condition that the lessee should electrify it. In 1926, the electrification was inaugurated making the Cascais Line the first electrified railway line in Portugal. It would remain the only one for the following 30 years. This is the reason why it was electrified at 1,500 volt, which was a common standard in those times. Besides the electrification, Sociedad Estoril vastly improved the line, with new stations, new rolling stock, and more trains making it on one hand, a commuter line, and on the other, a tourist attraction due to its beauty. With all this, we arrive to Algas, one of the most important stations of the line due to being a major interface with buses and trams. From here, the scenery improves, but it isn't yet the best we'll see. We arrive now at Cruz Quebrada, a halt overlooking the beach and with an old school level crossing at the end. I'm staying quiet for a short while now, allowing you to enjoy the scenery.
The short stretch inland also has its beauty but the arrival to Cascay is the stunning moment we are all waiting for. I will use this stretch though to continue talking about the line. As the decades progressed the line saw continuous improvements. When, in 1977, it was redelivered by Sociedad Estoril to the state and incorporated into CP, it was a well-developed commuter line. This is Estoril, one of the most celebrated areas in Portugal and where many coronated heads lived between the 1930s and the end of World War II. Among many others, Juan Carlos, future King of Spain, King Humbert II from Italy, and King Simeon II from Bulgaria. The Sud Express, the train that used to connect Lisbon to Paris with a change in Hende, at the Franco-Spanish border, also, for a while in the decades of 1930 and 1940 had a through coach to Estoril, thus facilitating access to this renowned area. Here we are now, arriving to Cascay with the train overlooking the beautiful Cascay Bay. Enjoy! Finally, after a 27 kilometers and 40 minutes trip, we arrive at Cascay. We can't say goodbye without looking at the beautiful facade of this terminus station which has a beach right at its side. Thank you for joining me until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.